Hey, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. This video, I'm going to show you how to set up a static IP on the Raspberry Pi. I'm using Raspbian Jesse, but this should work on later versions of Raspbian Wheezy too. Uh, as long as you have the DHCP CD file, uh, I'll explain more about that later. Uh, so why would you want a, sta a static IP? Well, if you log into your Pi through Wi-Fi connection, you probably notice that the IP address you log in with changes all the time. That's because by default, the Pi is set up with a dynamic IP. Dynamic IPs change automatically. You'll never know when your Pi is going to use a different IP. But with a static IP, your IP will stay the same until you change it. If you're connecting your Pi to a service on the web uh, that depends on knowing your Pi's IP, you'll probably want to set up a static IP. And if you use your Pi as a web server, you definitely need to use a static IP. I'm not going to go too far into detail about static IPs versus dynamic IPs here. But if you want to know more, uh, just check out the article that's linked in the description. Setting this up is really easy. Uh, basically, all we need to do is find out our default gateway IP and our domain name server's IPs. And then all we need to do is add those to a file called thcpcd.conf. So let's get started. Uh, to find your default gateway IP address, log into your Raspberry Pi. And at the command prompt, enter route-ne. This is going to show you the Pi's network routing table. Your default gateway IP will be under the gateway column, with each row showing the IPs for the different interfaces. So now write down your default gateway IP. In my case, it's 10.0.0.1. Now we need to find out our domain name server IP addresses. So type cat forward slash etc forward slash resolv dot conf. Now this is the list of all your domain name server IP addresses. These are what your Pi uses to get the actual IP addresses of the websites you visit. You just copy these by selecting and pressing control C, then pasting them into Notepad. All right, now we're ready to edit the dhcpcd.conf file. So enter sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash dhcpcd.conf at the command prompt. And scroll all the way down to the end of the file. Now there's a little bit of code we need to add. You can either just watch what I enter here, or you can go to the article I mentioned earlier. Uh, where I'll post that code. And if you want to read more about static IPs versus dynamic IPs, all the steps I'm going through right now are here if you'd like to follow the steps that way. So here's the code we need to add. I'll just copy this and paste it in at the bottom of the DHCP CD file. Now these are the IP addresses I got from my own system. You'll need to change out all these with your own IPs. So here's where you can set the static IP for your Ethernet connection. Take your default gateway IP address, and change the last number to any other number between 1 and 255. Since my default gateway IP is 10.0.0.1, .0 I change the 1 to 100 to get 10.0.0.100. But I could change it to 99, 45, 12, anything between 1 and 255 will work. Now do the same for your wireless connection. Again, since my default gateway is 10.0.0.1, .0 I change the 1 to 99 to get 10.0.0.99. But 240 would work, or 2, or 23. So now for your static router's IP, just use your default gateway IP. It's the same thing. Now we can add our domain name server's IPs. I'll just delete this to demonstrate how to enter it. Each one of your domain name server IP addresses needs to be entered on a single line, with each IP separated by space. I'll just copy and right-click to paste it in there. So 
So now we've made static IPs for our Ethernet and Wi-Fi connections. We can exit out of here and save the file. Now the last thing to do is to test to make sure everything's working correctly. We need to reboot for the settings to take effect, so let's reboot. Now I'm going to log back in using the static IP address I just created for my Ethernet connection. And to test that we're connected to the internet, we can ping Google by entering sudo ping www.google.com. And if your connection's working, you should see something like this. If the connection didn't work, you'd get an error saying uh, network unreachable. Each line shows information about a single packet of data sent by the Pi and returned by Google servers. And down here it tells you how many packets were sent, how many packets were received, and the percentage of packets lost. Alright, that was the Ethernet connection, so now we need to test the wireless static IP the same way. So I'm going to reboot and log back in using the static IP I created for my Wi-Fi connection. Pseudo ping www.google.com. And this one's working too. Great. So now we've set up static IPs for our Ethernet connection and our Wi-Fi connection. These aren't going to change unless you want to change them. So if you need a stable and reliable way to connect your Pi to the internet, this is how you do it. And especially if you log in over Wi-Fi, you're not going to need to keep rescanning your network over and over to find your Pi's new IP address. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hope you got something useful out of this. And be sure to subscribe and share it if you know someone else that would find it useful. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or any problem setting up. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.